Got you, Larry. You're not Larry. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Ah! Farah, we've got to do something. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Uh, what do we do now? Just have to do this, then this. Need a hand, Leo? Thanks, Katie. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. Huh? Um, are you okay? I'm just trying out my new fishing rod. What's up? Well, I found a strange looking cat, but there's no information about it in my handbook. Here's a photo of it. Do you know what it is? Whoa, look at those ears. I've never seen a cat like that. Me too. Now let's see what we've got here. It seems the cat is a caracal. Caracals have a bunch of long black fur at the tips of their ears. In fact, the name caracal is from a Turkish word, karakulak, which means black ear. Caracals usually live on their own and find their own food when they're about a year old. Aw, were you out looking for food? Huh? I'm not sure if Larry can take care of himself. Larry? I named him. Larry is definitely not ready to live on his own. I know. We can teach Larry all the tricks a caracal has to know. He'll be able to take care of himself in no time. That's a great idea, Leo. We'll be right over, Farah. Ranger out. Ranger out. Who's the clever cat? Oh, hi guys. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No problem, Farah. So this is Larry? Yep, say hi to my friends, Larry. <coughs> Don't be scared, Larry. They're here to help. Hi, Larry. We're going to teach you everything a caracal should know. <coughs> now, where do we start? According to my handbook... <gasps> ah! My notes! Wow, how did he do that? He's so fast. Look at him go. Got it. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hi there, Junior Rangers. Here you go, Farah. What are you Rangers up to today? We're trying to teach Larry to live on his own. I see. Well, a caracal has many tricks up its paws to survive in the wild. Caracals are very agile. They can jump really high, up to three meters in the air and they can also run very fast. Scientists believe that the black tufts on their ears have a few functions. One of them is to help caracals blend into their surroundings. Along with the color of their fur, the black ear tufts help caracals hide better. I'm sure Larry is in good hands. All right, Junior Rangers, I have to go now. Good luck. Bye, Ranger, Bye, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. All right, Larry. Now we're going to teach you to run really fast. <coughs> Ready, Rangers? Let's go. Here, Larry. That's right. Catch the toy, Larry. <coughs> Faster. You can do it. He's gaining on us, Leo. What? No way. <gasps> Leo, watch out. <gasps> <gasps> was close. Whoa! He caught it. Nice work, Larry. Here we go. Okay, Larry, jump. Higher. You can do it. Come on, give it all you've got. Go, Larry. He did it. Ah! Oh, are you okay? Never better. Just hanging around. <laughs> We're almost there. Now we just need to teach him how to hide. And I know the perfect way. Three, two, one. Ready or not, Larry, here we come. Larry, where are you? Wow, he's pretty good at hiding. Not that good. Gotcha, Larry. You're not Larry. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Ah! 
Farah, we've got to do something. Hero, quick, use your camera to distract the caracal. <laughs> we've got its attention now. Whew. Thanks, guys. Oh, no! The caracal! Let go of the camera! Watch out! Let go! Oh, no! Larry! <gasps> huh? She's grooming Larry! <gasps> I think that's his mother! I guess Larry isn't ready to live on his own yet. Now that they're reunited, she can teach him everything he needs to know. Larry doesn't need us anymore. I guess so. Let's go, guys. Huh? Aw, oh, Larry. I'm gonna miss you, too. You be good and listen to your mama now. Don't forget to practice your jumping. An aftershock. Huh? An aftershock? Oh no! An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that happens after a large one. Whoa! Stay away from the trees, Rangers. We must look for an open area. Huh? It is just a small one. There should be no more. Phew! I hope not. But we'd better go check on the animals. The mountain gorillas live nearby. We can start with them. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in forests high up in the mountains. They tend to live in large communities called troops. In fact, there can be as many as 30 gorillas living together. Mountain gorillas are led by the strongest silverback of the group. Silverbacks are male gorillas with a patch of silver hair on their backs. A silverback can be as tall as an adult male. Now let's go find the mountain gorillas. Do you need a lift, Jane? No need, Leo. See you guys there. Wait for us! They're nearby. Wow! wow mountain gorillas! They're so calm. It's as if the earthquake didn't happen. I wonder why. Wait a second. That's Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing with the mountain gorillas, Ranger Rocky? Well, I was having a stroll in the forest when the earthquake occurred. There was a huge commotion. It was chaotic. The mountain gorillas were panicking. But strangely, they calmed down once I got there. And now they follow me wherever I go. It seems the silverback leader is missing. So I'm the new leader of the troop. Huh? huh? What? It's understandable. What does their leader do, Ranger Rocky? The silverback leader is responsible for the protection of the troop. It's also his responsibility to search for new feeding grounds and lead his troop there. The leader makes all the decisions. Where their home should be, when to eat, and even when to sleep. We have to look for the missing silverback. Where did you find the gorillas? At a rocky valley down south. Then let's head there to see if we can find anything. Come on, Junior Rangers. Good idea, Leo. I'll wait here and continue to protect the troop. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Over here, Leo. I found something. The earthquake must have caused this. Listen. A mountain gorilla. It's coming from the other side. Wait here, Jane. We'll see what's over there. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. <gasps> we found him. The earthquake must have separated the silverback leader from his troop. He's trapped. So what should we do now? We'll have to clear the rocks and lead him back to the others. But how? Hmm. Aha! A 
if we pull this log out, everything should come tumbling down. Got it, Katie. Thanks, Jane. Ready, Leo? Ready. The leader is a safe distance away. All right, then. Here we go. Yay! We did it! Job, Rangers. Huh? I was wrong. There's another one. <gasps> Aftershock. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! It's out of control. Hello, Junior Rangers. Did you manage to find the Silverback Leader? We sure did. Stay on Platypus One, Junior Rangers. Huh? huh? What's going on? The leader is unhappy that Ranger Rocky took over. <gasps> it's a standoff! Gave up? No, he is showing respect to the silverback. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Are you all right? I'm just fine, Leo. Good job, Junior Rangers. You've reunited the troop. Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished. Jane, what's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is, the African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. 
They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! He is dropped. Hang on, we'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> he is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers, let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's gonna take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes. All right. We did it. We turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants! Whoa there! Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Hit subscribe and click the like icon.